welcome back to my channel as you all know schools have been closed for the past few months and I have been teaching online so today I want to show you what I do to prepare myself for my online live classes um, I know most of us as teachers weren't prepared for this and so we might struggle a little bit here and there so I'm going to show you what I do daily to get ready and to prepare myself for my classes so that my classes can go as smoothly as possible so let's get to it all right so this is where the magic happens don't judge guys I do not have an office so I had to create a little space in my home to host my classes so here i created a little background you know just to give students a little feel of the classroom so i'm teaching kg so i included a lot of colors and here i have my little whiteboard i wish i had a bigger one but this fits in perfectly right here so whether it's k to 12 try to create a little classroom feel um, for your live classes right so if you have a whiteboard whatever it might be whatever you can find put up a poster whatever it is that you can use to create a lovely background for your classes all right so i teach kg so um but it can still be applied to whatever level you teach but the first step is to organize your materials organize what you will be using for your class that day so here i have my magnetic letters i have numbers i will also be using glue sticks um some colored sheets i also have play-doh right another thing i might use is some display cards because you know as kg teachers you have to make things as fun as possible for the students whether it's online or in class same thing for other um levels whether it's k to 12 try to make it fun don't just do the same thing you don't just go with a powerpoint but be creative and include some activities so these are basically all my materials. Some of them were taken from my classroom at school and delivered by the school. And some I have already had at home and some of them I made, right? So just get your resources and all your activities together. Where all my equipments are, my laptop, my tripod, my speaker, my earphone that I use to probably cut out whatever noise might be in my background. And here, right here in my couch, as I said, guys, do not judge. This is my home that I'm trying to transform into a classroom. So right here beside um, my classroom here, I will normally have my marker, my eraser, play-doh, whatever I'll be using, my display cards, whatever I'll be using for my class right next to me so I can just grab them right here in my couch. So just create a space that's convenient to you and a space that looks presentable. All right, so another tip that I want to leave with you, if you're going to be creating PowerPoints and you're going to be using them for your live classes, Try to make them as interactive as possible. Add a few animation, maybe some transition or sound effects, but please do not overdo it. If you do too much, it can be very distracting and it can take away from your lesson. I teach KG, so I have to try to make it as um, interactive as possible. And I also added some um, animation and sound effects like that you know to make it you know a little bit different but please remember do not overdo it am I using what is the color yeah. of my play-doh another thing I had to do guys was to um, create weekly videos now this is a morning board video the you know they had me singing and all that stuff guys <laughs> but anyway oh my god i am originally a trained computer science educator this is my first time teaching kg guys but i am learning 
I am learning they have me singing days of the week but back to the tips guys um if you're creating videos um for your your classes ensure that you pause ask questions and interact with them just as though you are um in class teaching let me see if i can find an example right here in my video Oh, why wow, it's loading up you know how many months That's of right. the year 12 there are 12 months so that's basically it guys that's how i prepare for my classes and i hope these tips were of help to you and i hope that you will able to be more organized and to create a more classroom like feel for your students and remember remember to try to be as creative as possible and try to interact to your students as best as possible not because it's online don't just go with a boring old powerpoint every day okay peace out oh please like share comment and subscribe to my youtube channel